Hi, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of the All About Digital Marketing show. You're going to notice I actually have a half decent background. I've moved and I'm really happy about that because I'm back on fiber optic internet connection, which sounds so silly, but means so much in our, in our world and when we're working with so much content. Today's episode is talking a little bit about why you need to be thinking about or have already finished your Christmas marketing strategy, your Christmas marketing plan by now. So we're already well into October. We're going to be rushing towards Christmas and it's going to happen remarkably quickly. We all know that. We all kind of dread it a little bit. And I think by the time this episode airs, there's only about nine weeks left till Christmas. But here's the thing. When it comes to your digital marketing, your content marketing, there's a lot that you can do. And in fact, there's a lot you can do in advance. For us at Social Inc, we work with all of our clients roughly two to four weeks ahead of schedule. Now, what does that look like and what does that mean? A lot of content that's created can be created in advance. It can be planned. It can be thought out. It can be created, prepared, scheduled and be ready to go out. And what that does is it alleviates so much pressure and also makes sure that you don't have those moments where suddenly you realize, oh crap, nothing has gone out. When it comes to Christmas or big events and especially the holiday season this year, online and digital is going to play a huge part for your business no matter who you are, no matter what you do. As things in the UK have just started turning, we have this new three-tier system, it's clear to see that we're not quite over this pandemic yet and we don't really know what that's going to look like in the long run. But for now, what we can control is how well we position our businesses online to make sure that those businesses have the best chance of making it to the new year and to doing it in the best possible way. So your Christmas marketing. Well, Christmas isn't really just Christmas anymore. Christmas has this whole build up and it's getting earlier and earlier every year. This week, I believe actually today when I'm recording this on the 13th and 14th of October, Amazon starts its big prime sale. We're then going to have the rush towards uh, Black Friday. Sorry, went completely blank. Blank Friday. Uh, Black Friday. We're then going to have Cyber Monday, and then that's going to leave us with less than a four-week run to Christmas itself. Now, let's be honest. We know that this year is not going to be a normal Christmas. We know that this year a lot of people are struggling. We know that people are losing their jobs. People are unsure about what's going to happen next. But that doesn't still mean that there's going to be that spirit of Christmas, and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be putting yourselves in the best possible position for your small business to be able to offer what you have to sell. How can you do that? Well, right now, there's time still just to be able to get your stuff together, get your plans together, get your strategy together. Now, whether it's going to be sales or whether it's just going to be identifying those ideal gifts for other people, now is a great time to set what that looks like out. You might want to go down the route of an advent calendar idea. So on the first day of December and every day up until December, offering things. But there are some key things that you really should be including in your Christmas marketing on the run up to the big day. The first one is always going to be when is that final deadline for people to be able to order, have that product delivered to either themselves or to a loved one or friend. How that works and what you want to try and do is to make sure that you're using the urgency of, you know, get your orders in before that runs out. But also at the same time, you want to make sure that people don't miss out. If somebody's got an idea for a gift, there's nothing worse than them realizing that it's too late. And I'll be honest, I'll put my hand up. I'm the first person to wait until about the 20th of December before I start doing Christmas shopping. I know, terrible, but that's my fault. So these are a couple of the things that you want to really be thinking about. What sort of gifts and who are they for? If you're going to run adverts, you've got to try and think about who the person that's buying the gift, not necessarily the receiver. And that might look very different to what your usual audience or your usual target audience might be. So for example, if you're selling video games, the chances are you're targeting parents to buy this for their child as opposed to targeting the child themselves. Let's face it, there isn't a kid out there that doesn't know already about what gaming console they want, whether it be the PS5 or the new Xbox that's coming out in November. But whatever it is, there's this this way of identifying who the purchaser and who the intended receiver would be for that gift. If you're in restaurants, leisure, anything like that, I know that this year is going to be potentially horrendous and very, very hard for everybody. 
So some of the sorts of things that you could be thinking about, which one would help support your business and give people that sense that they're supporting your business might in fact be to offer gift vouchers or, you know, if you're a hotel, one night stay, two night stays that can be used in the next 18 months, 24 months. Those sorts of ideas can be a great way for people to offer that present without restricting people or without giving them a particular date on which they have to do something, but also be honest about it. Showcase who you are and say the truth. We're doing this because we need support. Everyone knows that this year is going to be tough. Don't fake it till you make it. It's terrible, terrible way of doing things. Be open and honest and let your audience know what's happening in your business and let them know what they can do to be part of that. You're far more likely to have an empathetic audience towards your situation if you're open and honest as opposed to pretending like everything is going great and then ultimately realizing that therefore people didn't think they needed to support you. Why we talk about getting your Christmas marketing done by now? Well, that's simple. Christmas is also a hectic time, whether we have our own families, whether we have to sort things out for that, or whether it's just simply everything kind of goes a little bit crazy and a little bit hectic during December. This year, what's for sure is we don't know how things are gonna go, but what we do know is that every Christmas, there's a rush. Every Christmas is a bit of a crazy time. So everything that we can do now to make sure that we alleviate that is going to help us when we actually get to December. Having that kind of content ready, planned, already scheduled even, is a fantastic way to take that pressure off yourself. And by the way, it's not because you've planned out that content that means that you can't add additional content during the course of those uh, weeks that build up to Christmas. But what it will do is mean you don't have to worry, you don't have to think about what needs to be posted today, tomorrow, and especially not in that run up in December. Try and make sure you've got a plan, keep it simple. It's usually the best way. And literally, if you don't have a content calendar, we've got a link, we'll add it to the show notes. And if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll add it to the notes below. But you can download one of our free calendars from Social Link, which will just allow you to enter in those details of what you want to post so that you can have everything prepared in advance. If you're using a tool, a scheduling tool, make sure that you've got all of that content, the bulk of any offers, any Christmas promotions, anything that you're doing out and ready and scheduled on your system so that you can take that pressure off yourself. Guys, girls, everybody listening, if we're a small business owner, this year is going to be a little bit crazy. It's going to be hard work for all of us. I know it is for us. I know it is for a lot of our clients. We're okay with that. We're trying our best to help you guys as much as possible. Be open, be honest, and be genuine. Talk to people about the situation that you find yourself in. Be sure to make them understand and see what it is that you're trying to do behind the scenes and what you're trying to do to make sure that your business continues. Make sure you build that support, that loyalty from your customers by being open and honest with them, just like you would in any other relationship. Lying, hiding, trying to show off as if you were okay when you're not, none of those things help build real relationships. And online, everything is about real relationships, especially this year. This year, we've seen just how important it is to have good, solid relationships online. So guys, girls, everybody, thank you very much for listening. We hope you enjoyed this. Remember, you can subscribe to the podcast on your favorite channel, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, even now on Amazon as well. If you'd like to leave any comments or feedback, please find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as at allaboutdigmar, D-I-G-M-A-R. I'm Chris Bruno. Thank you very much for listening, guys and girls, and stay safe. Stay safe.